Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our good old Rookie Babor campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, permanent dark events and everything enabled with four men. And the twist of the whole thing is they gotta be rookies only. Nothing other than rookies can be used. No PCSs, no covered ops missions, straight up. Uh, fighting our way through technology needs to carry this one and uh, we got a mission ahead of us that might be a little bit easier so we're only going to, uh, going to fight against the loss uh, consequently i have taken uh, rookies that potentially can bond ataxia and apelius epi and ataxia had been on a few missions and lyrical and synapse we put a lot of mimic beacons tail, uh, uh, tracer rounds and some tail and rounds with us and that's pretty much the intro of it. Uh, there is a possibility that uh, one of uh, the Chosen will uh, turn up, if that's the case. I assume we're going to try to execute him, because uh, they will have a lot of armor. So that's really the plan. Let's go and see how well we're doing with all of those rookies. Okay, and we landed. It is time to hopefully destroy all of those losts. In order to do that, how about we're just moving in and seeing how many losts we're even dealing with. As long as it's just a lost, I don't think this here is going to be a huge problem. Everybody just charges up. I do have the distinct feeling we're going to run into the Chosen. Look, we know it's just a lost here, right? Moving over here, plenty of losts, texture, takes the other entrance. What I'm trying to do is seal off the entrances. Heading to that location. Sam here is moving up, even more enemies, fantastic. And Lyrical is taking that side. Good. Let's get the party rolling. Target neutralized. They've got a position. Oh, all of those sweet, sweet ability points, uh, which we do have, and we can't even use them. Good. Time to clean up as many of them as we can. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, that's a kill. kill Just in order to not make that awkward, let's get this guy here out of our face. And it is quite interesting what a rookie can do with tracer rounds and the right kind of weapon. Because all of a sudden, they are hitting like real soldiers. Softening up the brute. Good, fantastic. All right, whom are we dealing with? Well, look at that. The Assassin. Chance to return fire on missed shots. Um, regeneration. Can summon stun lances. Oh, that revenge is a nasty ability. Her shotgun is, is really, really, really bad. Sounds like that. 
that Chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. But we know that the Chosen is on the other side. Might as well use that to our advantage and mark her. Because there are plenty of losses here. There is no shortage of them. Okay. Moving up. And she's back there. Very good. Lyrical. Moves up. Overwatches. Attacks here. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, we should prepare the ones that are difficult to kill with one shot. Reload Overwatch. And another overwatch. Alright, so, so she's trying to vanish. But really what's happening here is all of the losses are following her anyways. Getting out of uh, the reach of uh, the Chosen. And it is mainly Overwatch. But the loss deal with her. My understanding is Overwatch shots will not trigger her return fire. But they can very much trigger the... Uh, mm, the repeater instant kill. That's that was her one time get out of jail card to summon two stun lancers. Correction one stun lancer. Good, well, even more losses are appearing. And if they can please just try to hit her, that would be fantastic. If they stand around her, she can't move, even better. Good, we're blocking both of the entrances so that the Stun Lancer can't, like, charge up. Nice little hit, that was a good one. Ninety-seven percent is even better. Let's just do the teamwork for now. And look, from back here, let's at least have some sensible shots. Good, got a hair trigger, got some overwatch. Reload, overwatch. 
only 56 percent i don't want to take that shot i'd rather take an overwatch 60 percent shall we take that hmm Not enough insta kill chance, just five percent. Let's instead overwatch and wait for her to move. Our target minimal damage. Look, lots of hits. Can someone just execute her? Oh, okay. Whoever designed her and her mobility has never played with uh, an underpowered squad against her. It is just infuriating uh, to have to, to fight her. And then she randomly charges from one end of the map to the other side, completely ignoring laws of time and space. Luckily, there are a couple of dashers, which at least will get to her. We need to get our people back on their feet, Commander. Unfortunate for us. That really doesn't help us. All right, reload. Overwatch reload, free reload here, and another Overwatch. Shall we greet and get that? Alright, let's do it. Uh, I was hoping for a core. Unfortunately not happening. Another hit. Yet another hit. I'm still waiting for the execution here. We are hitting her and we're hitting her quite well. These loss here will be a pro uh, problem of ours in the next turn. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, let's go. Repeater. Superior repeater. All right. Let's try to kill her. I won't be 
Wow, this is going to suck so much. Challenge here is we don't have enough alternatives. chance to kill her. Got him. Out around. Good, and now we have a problem. At one time, it would have been unthinkable that I might ever fall in battle. Now, it appears you have bested me once again. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. Let's just try to get as many of these guys down as possible. We might be able to use the Mimic Beacon, actually. <clears throat> it should attract them. Just want to make sure that Lyrical is not getting overrun. Again, let's just kill as many as we can. Very soon going to see if that whole Mimic Beacon thing had worked. Answer is no. Well, partially is the answer. They just take it as another XCOM agent. Which I suppose is good enough if you just think about it. up here. Lyrical takes the other side. We're just blocking the stairs mainly. Oh boy, closer than expected mission. Let's open this door here. The majority of uh, the excitement came from the Chosen.
The losses are all quite manageable. Good, hacking the chest. Yes, please. Oh, enemy protocol. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Well, you're still allowed to dream, aren't you? Good, we're moving all the way over here. And let's get as many of them down as possible. Good. So I think once we got that wave down, we might be completely done with that map. Look, frankly speaking, the loss were actually relatively helpful thanks to the beacon. Most of the problems uh, were coming from the Sun Lance and predominantly from the Chosen. And she was just a pain to deal with. Could have brought more shredding uh, capability because I could have honestly assumed that she uh, would come in. It's very rare that it's only the loss at this point. The Taxia, by the way, has a fun mission. I think he will end up with 20 plus kills. Super deep magazine and has a great position no a to clean up all of these guys. Enemy down. All right, moving to high ground. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Good, that might have been the last guy. No. Let's do this. Okay, maybe some of them are still underneath the bridge. Or oh, there might be a pack which we haven't triggered yet. Let's take a peek, shall we? Running. Position confirmed. Scanning. You hear that? Okay, so something or someone is back there. Let's try to not get yet another swarm going. Rolling. Uh, 
Yep, a single lost. On the opposite side of the map, great. Potentially going to see yet another swarm. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just fast forward this, guys, uh, and we'll skip to the end of the mission. All right. Let's jump to the conclusion here. Very good. So we just landed. Look at that 44 kills in two missions. Ataxia just does not skip a beat. Holy moly. Hello, Commander. Gone to ground, that would have been the closure of the black market. So good that we prevented that from happening. No bond improvement, but it was overall an, a fine mission. Unfortunately, we're still short. Of course. That's a tragedy. Assorted loot can be coarse if you're playing it right. But for now, I think we wanted to install a radio here. Okay, so <laughs> look, I won't be mad here, but what's the logic in the game? Hear me out for one second. So we got an extra dark event for this uh, month. I think it's just this is an example, and I'm seldomly saying that of incredibly bad programming. We got an extra dark event this month. Okay, happens. The rule of the thumb is... Uh, uh, rule of thumb is that you need to let an event pass once and the second time it materializes it doesn't just materialize mind you we have uh, fenced off undying loyalty the last time uh, that it happened uh, and it was even gone so the mere fact that there was an extra dark event even brought undying loyalty to uh, to the table now we then got a guerrilla mission, an extra guerrilla mission as a reward. Mind you, again, that typically happens to, to allow you to counter two dark events. You do have four dark events, and I do have two chances to uh, to counter them. I, In the first iteration, you only get one dark event out of the four. Okay, no problem, we countered that. And then in the second time, uh, out of the remaining three, they only show two. So now I, with, I I factually did not have a chance to counter this. It was just a game decided at the beginning of the month. Well, bad luck sucks being you. By the way, undying loyalty. Wow. I'll have to come up with something better next time. That will make our run noticeably more difficult. It is such a bad event. Though it is intriguing. Central claims to have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we knowing that. Okay, so we're now going to go into the Black Side Vial. You know what? Let's start with Codex Brain. Lexite Vial happens afterwards, we're good. Codex Brain will allow us to score Jack a Codex. And that can give us the option. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Well, thank you. We have just we've just been forced to take down Another alien facility. Fantastic. No, Redford, we're not putting idle soldiers on a covert action. 
because you might not have realized it by now, but the only covert action doesn't give us anything. It just costs us 25 intel for nothing. Good. Bond training for Arius and Endors. Uh, they can upgrade it. That's great. Congrats to them. And we potentially need to use some of our more experienced rookies for the facility. And play through that to once again fend off the Avatar uh, project. This is bad, guys. It's not getting any better. Stiletto round sucks. That is okay. Undying loyalty is the worst lost we've managed so far. All of this is bad. No, uh, no negatives. Mid right rates more armor. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten dark events already ongoing. I could play my own saving your disaster campaign at this point almost, with the exception that it's not a disaster yet, but it's kind of one step away from it. Okay, well, we're going to go through the shadow chamber. Uh, research that's happening next. Codex Brain and Blackside Vial uh, should allow us to at least get a bit closer. So that's good. Maybe we can use uh, the one of the non-timed missions to uh, to summon the first and hopefully only avatar that we're fighting against. And hopefully uh, kill it outright. That would... That would then allow us uh, to research his body. And there is also uh, the uh, the option to upgrade uh, the facility, uh, the shadow chamber still uh, with a psionic gate. So there will be a psionic gate mission as well. I think this can be reasonably done in a short-ish amount of time. My biggest problem is we're still lacking the rage suit and at least one or two more heavy weapons so gotta get like three ish cores in which would be a supply rate a real supply rate mission so hopefully that happens as well good these were my thoughts uh, on the matters thanks for watching guys if you enjoy the content and if you hate undying loyalty as fiercely as i do leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode bye bye